Corps was founded in 1942 by James L. Farmer Jr., George Hauser, James R. Robinson, and Bernice Fisher. The Corps used nonviolent tactics to fight against segregation and racism. Their actions and methods were influenced by the tactics of Muhammad Gandhi and the writings of Henry David Thoreau. James Farmer was the biggest influence on the Corps and was the first president. The Corps sponsored and supported many events. The most popular event was the Freedom Rides. The Freedom Rides were peaceful actions to desegregate the busing system, restaurants, and rest stops along interstates. Buses were often attacked and the occupants were often beaten. One bus was even firebombed. The NAACP was another major organization in the civil rights movement. The NAACP was created in January of 1909 in New York City. Ida B. Wells, Webb Du Bois, Henry Moskowitz, Mary White Ovington, Oswald Garrison, and William English Walding created the NAACP. They created it in response to the race riots of 1908. As previously stated, these are the founders. The NAACP concentrated on the legal rights of African Americans. The lawyers of the NAACP supported many cases against people's rights. Some of these cases are Holmes v. Danner, which is the desegregation of the University of Georgia, Meredith v. Fair, which allowed her entrance to Ole Miss, and Ham v. the City of Rock Hill, which dropped charges of occupants of sit-ins. The National Urban League was founded in New York City on September 29, 1910 by Ruth Standish Baldwin and Dr. George Edmund Haynes. Unlike other civil rights groups, the National Urban League concentrated on improving the conditions of urban cities and the well-being of the people living there. In 1961, Whitney Young became the executive director of the National Urban League. The National Urban League created groups like the S Street Academy, which helped young people prepare for school, and the New Trust, a project that helped leaders solve problems. Dr. George Edmund Haynes was one of the biggest contributors to the National Urban League. The National Urban League hosted meetings to plan the March on Washington. The NAACP, SELC, CORE, and the SNCC all took part on the March on Washington. On August 28, 1963, more than 2,000 buses, 21 special trains, 10 charter airliners, and an uncounted number of cars converged on the Washington. All regularly scheduled planes, trains, and buses were also filled to capacity. The people all converged in the front of the Lincoln Memorial to hear several speakers talk and protest about civil rights. The SCLC was founded in January of 1957 by Martin Luther King Jr. and 60 other African American priests. Like other organizations, the SCLC used nonviolent methods to help the civil rights movement. At first, the SCLC struggled to gain support. Very few people would stand up against powerful white supremacy groups like the KKK. The people and churches that did join the SCLC usually got bombed or burned. Martin Luther King Jr. was the biggest and most famous contributor to the SCLC. The Albany Movement was another movement to desegregate the buses. The movement started when Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat in the front of the bus to a white man. Several civil rights leaders came to Albany to help protest. They protested by not taking public transportation. The SNCC was an organization made up of students from college. The students also pursued nonviolent actions to end segregation. The SNCC's most common action was sit-ins. During sit-ins, a group of African American and white people would go to segregated diners or bars, and they would sit in white-only places for as long as possible. Most people who participated were usually harassed, beat, or arrested. Sit-ins helped desegregate restaurants and diners. Sit-ins were commonly practiced by African Americans to show their support for desegregation and to peacefully protest against white supremacists.